Hi, I'm Rachel Ramsey at IT Expo in Miami. I'm here with Frank Stinson, a partner and senior analyst at Intelligon Analytics. It's great to have you. Oh, thank you, Rachel. How are you doing? Good. Enjoying Good. the show so far? Yes, very much. So um, as an analyst, what are some of the top trends that you're seeing uh, at IT Expo so far? Okay. Well, my focus in particular is in the uh, unified communications and collaboration space. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's a couple of trends, I think, within that and uh, more broadly discussed at the show that are almost disruptive to the traditional role of IT. Um, and I think they pose some, some challenges for your, you know, traditional audience here. And, and one of them is around kind of the consumerization of IT, you know, the the, the power that a user has in their hands with their smartphone or their, their iPad or their Android device, um, that, that's, um, you know, that's creating uh, new demands for IT in terms of um, how they have to manage it and how they have to really think about more in terms of you know, empowering the individual user and the line of business as opposed to just, just more narrowly focusing on the particular technology issue or their you know, traditional concerns on compliance and, uh, and company policy. Great. So um, you spoke on a couple of sessions here so far. Can you tell me a little bit about what you covered and how those went? Yep. So I had one today that was, uh, was looking at really around um, the challenge of, of uh, demonstrating value for business users for unified communications. Again, not just uh, not just trying to sell those solutions into the you know IT department, but how the vendors you know, need to more broadly engage other areas of business. So, particular lines of business, functional departments like customer service, sales, that may not have played as large a role in technology decisions in the past. When you look at the you know collaboration capabilities that are that are you know in in place and available now. A lot of those users just aren't aware that those capabilities are available, and in some cases, IT may already own some some licensing that would enable it, and they just don't know that it's um, something their organization can tap into because they haven't really been involved in you know technology sales conversations in the past. Um, another one is uh, was yesterday around the bring your own device and and. Uh, what, what's interesting there is obviously a, a user can use the same device for their, their personal applications, their social networking, and then they bring you know, the device into the organization. They want to be enabled on the tools that they use in, in the office. Uh, but but you know, separating the identity of the, you know, for the, indiv the individual and what they uh, need to do in the office, um, that creates some additional challenges for IT because on the user side there's um, uh, privacy issues and concern about their personal information being accessed by IT and other parts of uh, you know their work environment, and then from IT standpoint, particularly if you're in a really sensitive industry like defense or, or government, there's a you know very um, you know real uh, risks of um, uh, you know of that information walking out the door. So you have to be very careful in terms of uh, the policies you have in place and uh, how you manage the technology. So that you don't have a breach, you know, in that in that sense. Yeah. So it seems like there are a lot of a, a lot of challenges um, that BYOD brings that people still have to overcome. So mm -hmm. where do you see that trend in maybe a year or two? Well, I think I think it's only going to accelerate in that the you know the user has so much capability they can get on their own, and, and you look at towards the, the smaller end of the business when you have a startup you know organization that has no existing IT infrastructure. You know, if they if they have a pretty up to date smartphone or tablet, and then they start to look at the applications that are available in the cloud for free or for a very low cost, it really changes you know the game in terms of um, you know the upfront investment needed to uh, get off the ground, and then for uh, some of the vendors here that might be selling a, you know a business focused solution that's a little you know that that would cost maybe a little bit more but still be in the, in the reach of a small business. It, you know, some customers might say, well, that's what they're already getting is good enough. So this whole consumerization really um, creates a challenge for the, um, you know, those organizations to differentiate their offer to get, you know, the customers to, uh, to purchase them. Okay, great. And um, at IT Expo, is there anything that you've seen that stands out to you or anything that you're excited to see for the rest of the week? Well, I think what, what stands out in particular is those two issues, the, uh, you know, the, the the mobility, bring your own device, and cloud are so central to the to the themes being discussed. 
you know, uh, there's dedicated tracks on both of those topics, and and just you know, if you look at the at what's on the show floor, um, it's really you know, it's moving very quickly. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, and enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.